we've got a question now from Emma. Where is Emma? Hi. Should three-year-olds be taught about sex? Should three-year-olds be taught about sex? So this is a reference to the proposal by the Welsh government to make religious and sex education lessons compulsory for every pupil between the ages of three and 16. And now there are four mothers who are representing more than 5,000 parents and grandparents. They've begun legal action. And a spokesperson for the Welsh government says groups, including the NSPCC, are backing the proposal. But this is very interesting, isn't it? Because the, the, uh, this particular story... In this story, the Welsh Government is pushing a particularly ideological form of sex education, which includes gender identity ideology sort of tucked into it. And people are kind of getting a bit sick of this, aren't they? Now it's going to the court. Yeah. yeah but it no, goes back to what you were saying about how the courts are the way to solve these things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this, this is uh, disturbing. With three is obviously far too young. You've got to wait until they're four. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, full on, you know, you can, you know, German glass coffee table stuff. Yeah, um, we're not going to go into too much detail about that. <laughs> no, he's just talking about, he's just talking about furnishings. <laughs> um, but it's interesting, though, because we were talking the other week about the, the, this theatre show that was cancelled, yeah. the family sex show, which was aimed at sort of five, five-year-olds plus, which featured full frontal nudity. Yeah. Uh, discussions about uh, self pleasure and also there you know. does there does seem to be a trend and when we're when we're talking you know the, the, a lot of the um, debate in education is around uh, teaching children and we're talking young children like five year olds or in this case you know as, as young as three talk, teaching them about uh, gender so they can identify as different genders. Uh, and but they, they don't have any concept of gender. And that's the thing, they don't have any concept of it and it's, it's, it's br chipping away at the, the concept of the age of consent because, you know, leftists or people who are following this ideology are going to be saying, well, if, well, if a child can consent to uh, transitioning or being a, a non-binary at, at a younger age, what else can they consent But to? I don't think that's, I think the, that's, a I don't think that's the end slope. game. I, don't, I think that might be the inadvertent... Well, I think they're effect. creating a mechanism that, you know, if, if somebody's a paedophile, they could go into one of these organisations and very easily have access to, to, uh, to, to children and be like... It's if you, I mean, if Jimmy Savile uh, was around these days, he'd be getting a role in that naked sex show. <laughs> yeah. For... No, that's a very good point. Diane, what do you make of this? Because there is a sense... I mean, I feel kind of old-fashioned, and but then I say, you know, maybe don't teach three-year-olds about sex. Is that old-fashioned or is that sort of uh, okay? It's not old-fashioned at all. It's completely appropriate. I used to be a secondary school teacher, and it's completely appropriate not to... The three. Like, when, when you see three-year-olds, like, they have got so much on their plate already because <laughs> they're learning everything all at once. Yeah, they are. It's tough. And when they hang out with each other, they don't care what religion the other person is, they don't care what gender the other person is, they don't care what colour they are. They just hang out and they all just play and they just have a nice time and it all comes down to toys. Yes. Who yes. has the best toy? And if they've got the best toy, now we're going to have a fight. Yeah. And it's all down to sort of have they got a bigger slice of cake than me? And I think that we should focus on teaching three-year-olds how to share. Oh, yes. I think that's more important. Because three-year-olds are full of rage and, and you know, they, they are difficult. They're animals, basically. Yeah, because you start at the terrible twos. Yes. And it's the terrible twos when they start having the tantrum and they're, they're because they, come, they become aware of themselves as an I am. Yes. Can yes. we get them into cage fighting? Oh my that. god! That might resolve. Have you ever been it? to Thailand? Like they make li we little kids fight each no, other. No, they don't. Yeah, yeah, but they're like doing it like it's really. It's cute. a joke thing. Well, yeah, I mean, but they sort of as they Did grow up. Did you put up, a bet they... on? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. No, uh, so, so you, I mean, you taught us secondary school, but you would understand that sex education is quite important in secondary education. But in the... secondary education, in but there secondary, is a difference, isn't there? There is definitely a difference, and I would say that sex education doesn't even need to start till sort of 14, 15 at yeah. the earliest, I just, in I, my opinion. I keep coming back to this debate and I'm thinking, they're three. That should be the end That's of the, ridiculous. the debate. Yeah. You know, they're three. So, you know, stop imposing and your ideolo ideological worldview on mm. little children. It's creepy and weird.